I, I always say that LGBTQ people have been in America since America's been here. It's part of our DNA. It just hasn't always been written down and recorded, but it's always been here. And if, in fact, if you go back way into the slave era, you find black LGBTQ people who were enslaved. But even if you move into the 20th century, in the Harlem Renaissance, this amazing cultural movement that really transformed African-American culture and African-American life, it was led by black queer people. Diversity doesn't mean that we all have to fit into some sort of cookie cutter mold. It means that we get to be ourselves. You get to be you and I get to be me and we can all be fabulous together. Part of the challenge is letting people wake up to the reality of what's going on. Some people want to ban books that have to deal with, uh, with our community. You know, for me, thinking about how queer people fit into the American dream sometimes feels almost counterproductive. Really what we need to do is shatter this notion of the American dream because it only worked for some of us. Any dream for America that doesn't include and represent us isn't a real dream for America. It has to be a dream that's inclusive of all of us. When you do achieve your liberation, it doesn't just exist for a few, it exists for everyone.